Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very, very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one, as you can see, is about Big Remy, who apparently got a new coach. Now, you guys know that uh, Big Remy recently worked with Patrick Tour, that was his last coach. Before that, it was Chad Nichols, and he worked with Patrick briefly. From what I understand, uh, Patrick Tour and Big Remy were friends uh, for a long time, and eventually Big Remy asked Patrick to help him a little. So that was their relationship. It wasn't really, it was never really made official. Like, uh, Patrick was not prepping Big Remy for the Mr. Olympia or anything like that. They were working for some time, and they stopped working. Big Remy was nowhere on the map. Uh, he probably had some other things to do. He didn't want to focus on bodybuilding too much. And for a while there, there was radio silence from Big Remy. He was nowhere to be found. Ever since he announced he's not doing the Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing, he was nowhere. We didn't know what his plans are, whether he's actually gonna do the Mr. Olympia, whether he's prepped by Patrick Tour or anybody else. There was really no information about Big Ramby. He was MIA. Eventually, Dennis James said on his podcast that uh, Big Remy is no longer working with Patrick Tour, which is true, it was confirmed. However, yesterday, Big Remy posted a photo with this man right here. And in the caption, he says, stay tuned. What does this mean? Well, I clicked on this guy's profile and he's actually a bodybuilding coach, a prep coach. I'm guessing from Egypt, where Big Remy is stationed at, or somewhere in the Middle East. So it seems like Big Remy decided to start working with this coach, a local coach. So ever since we knew about Big Remy, he was always working with these top coaches, pro coaches, who are coaching all the other guys at the Mr. Olympia, or he was coached by somebody from the auction gym. And also, Big Remy's career started like very late in his life, and he was immediately recognized, and he got to the top very, very quickly because of his crazy genetics. However, at this point in time, he decided, it seems like he decided to start working with somebody who is local, who is there for him, who can see him probably almost every day, but definitely more often than the guys who are based in the US or in the Europe. So, I mean, I'm assuming this because he tagged this guy and he says, stay tuned. So it seems like Big Remy is prepping for the Mr. Olympia with a new coach. How will this work out if it is happening? I don't know. I mean, personally, from my experience, I know a lot of local coaches who are definitely much better for local competitors because the top coaches, the pro coaches, they have a ton of clients. And they are great for the top guys because they really devote themselves to the top guys. They have a lot of experience with uh, big bodybuilders and also like with uh, celebrity bodybuilders, with guys who are at the very top. They can handle the pressure and so on. But as far as like us regular people, we are much better off with a local coach. And that's why I have a local coach who is prepping me for my pro qualifier this year. I was considering working with a pro coach, but I already have some bad experiences in, with that. So I decided to work with a local coach who will be there for me, who is also more affordable. So I think it makes a lot of sense for somebody like me. And if you guys, for example, are trying to find a coach and you're not sure who to hire, you don't want to spend 300, 500 bucks on a coach who is not going to pay much attention to you, you can talk to me. You can hire me, just DM you on Instagram, we can talk about this. Anyways, maybe Big Remy had a similar mindset. Even though he's not the best in the world, I mean, he's the Mr. Olympia, he probably wanted somebody who's gonna try to basically make their bones working with him. Somebody who's gonna give him all the attention, and he probably likes what he does with other people, and maybe they clicked on a personal level, which is very, very important, extremely important. I would say all of these coaches who are good, they have similar knowledge. In the end, it all comes down to who you click with mentally. So maybe Big Remy clicked with this guy, and maybe he's the one who's gonna bring him back. Is that really possible? Well, the video you just watched was from 2020, Arnold Classic. And after that, Big Remy's physique was never the same. And even in this photo right here, you can see his right calf, it's, it's, it's half gone, right? The same thing is happening to his forearms as well. And that's what we can see right here. And I know that the same thing is happening with his biceps, triceps, lower lats, I mean, the back itself, uh, the glutes are also weird, the quads as well, like... I don't know, I mean, I don't know what kind of sorcery can revive Big Remy and truly bring him and make him look his absolute best, uh, his freshest. 
the way he looked when he was a young bodybuilder. So personally, I don't have high hopes for Big Remy. If he competes, if he's truly, truly shredded, spot on, if he really peaks at 110%, with all of the injuries, with all the muscles gone, it's hard for me to say top 6. More like top 8 at this point. That's the way I see it. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Alright, next up, we got a physique update from Samson Dauda. He posted a video outdoors, so the lighting is different than usual, but we can see very clearly what his physique looks like right now at 13 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. He says, making improvements is what we've always done, and we will keep doing it. And I believe this 100%. The guy just made a ton of progress since he basically came to the scene. I mean, his first show was when he was 28. And he burst into the scene like 3 years ago, so it's not like he was competing for 15 years and couldn't make it to the top and he only recently made it. No, no, his first show was when he was 28. That's when he started bodybuilding, competing, I mean. And I don't know this for a fact, but I'm assuming it took him a couple of years to turn pro. And then a couple of more years to get to the very top. So for Samson, it was it was a quick ascent. And now, as you can see, he is like one of the best guys in the world. Potentially the best bodybuilder in the world. It might happen this year. So let's take a look at his back and his back poses. We already saw the progress that he made for the Arnold Classic in his back. Like from the Mr. Olympia to Arnold Classic. But I believe he made more progress since the Arnold Classic until now. And we're gonna be able to see it more and more as he gets leaner. And I think he's gonna actually make progress in this prep. Because he's over there in Kuwait, not right now, but he's gonna be prepping over there. And uh, he recently started, you know, the cycle. He was off after the Arno Classic for a while. So I think as he gets leaner, he's gonna make even more progress. And especially with the back, when it is leaner, it looks better. But even at this point, 13 weeks out... This back looks crazy, man. This doesn't look like a weak point anymore at all. I'm pretty sure after the Mr. Olympia, nobody will even remember that his back was a weak area at some point. And also, pay attention to these guys. Tell me what do you think. When he opens up and hits the back double bicep, first he does it like this, with the elbows higher. And I kind of like it more this way compared to this. Elbows lower and lats more flexed. I mean, yeah, this way lats are popping out more and the terrace especially is looking more prominent, it's flexed, but he's kind of losing the width in the, in the upper back, right? Do I see what I'm seeing? I think this looks better, but maybe it's different when he's shredded compared to this point in prep, but I don't think so. I think this is kind of the way he should be hitting it, you know, he looks, his back looks just bigger, like longer, I would say, you know, wider. So I think this is a better variation, but it doesn't really matter what we think, he's gonna do it, what he thinks is the best for him. This is just my personal opinion, I prefer it this way, but whatever you think, you can tell me down below. And also tell me what you think about Samson, and is he gonna make progress before the Mr. Olympian? Can he win the show? Can he become the Mr. Olympia? I think he can, I think it's very possible, and I think I will be having him in my prediction video as the winner again again, because I want this physique to be the best physique in the world, as long as he brings the conditioning, but I want to see this happen, I know Hadi is probably the favorite right now, I mean, what he brought to the Arnold Classic was insane, I know it's very hard to beat that, but you never know, things may change this year, what do you think? Alright, and finally, we got a physique update, a new physique update from Rubial Mosquera, and this time around, it is from the back, He's showing us his back side. Now, if you guys remember last year, his back was maybe not exactly his strongest point. I wouldn't say it was weak, but this year it looks like a like a freaking strong point. Look at this back. Look at his look at his size from behind. Damn, like this is definitely giving me Ronnie Common wipes for sure. For sure, this is the biggest guy I saw in a long, long time, and it seems like he grew a lot in the past offseason. He's 304 pounds right now, guys. At only a couple of weeks out of Dubai Pro, where he's definitely my favorite to win the show, but in this video we can see his conditioning as well. 
And in most cases, I would say 90% of the cases, maybe even more, people stored the most amount of fat and water in their backside. Not the back itself, but like the glutes, the hamstrings, and the lower back. That's usually the trouble area for everybody. There are guys who are exception to this rule, for example, Derek Lansford, but usually this is the case. Now, what do we see from Rubio here in his back poses? Is he ready? Will he be ready? Because he's not exactly perfectly ready. But look at this side tricep, man. Look at this madness. Look at how crazy this looks. Honestly, this is probably... This is definitely one of the best side triceps ever in history of bodybuilding. I don't want to say it's the best one. There are also some really good ones like... I don't know, Phil Heath, uh, Jay Cutler also, I would say Kevin Levroni, so on. There are guys who are really good in this pose, but look at this. In most recent years, this is the best one for sure. Also, like his midsection, his stomach is super flat, super flat from the side. The triceps are enormous, the arms are crazy, the shoulders have perfect shape, the chest is big, and, and, and the legs, I mean, look at a freaking quad. Look at the hamstrings, and the glutes, and the calves. This pose is just amazing, it's insane. But once again, the back, it's definitely improved. It's definitely bigger than last year. I mean, he gained like 30 pounds since last year, and I don't think his legs grew. I mean, I don't think they could have grown anymore from last year. Like, they were basically maxed out. I think all the growth happened in his upper body, and I can see a lot of it exactly in the back. The back looks better, and as far as conditioning, honestly, I don't see any fat. Like, the glutes, they are not super separated, but then again, he's like two and a half weeks out. I think he's just holding a lot of water, because I don't see fat. Lower back looks very lean, the hamstrings also looking very lean. The glutes, again, not super separated, but you can see the outline. Like, there is no fat there. I mean, sure, he can be a little bit drier and, like, maybe a little bit leaner, but even with this conditioning, if he dried out from this point of the show, if the show was in a week from now, I think he would still be in good enough shape. And with his size, it's probably gonna be pretty much impossible for anybody there to beat him. But he's gonna lean out probably a little bit more and dry out nicely, and I think his conditioning is gonna be very good on that stage. Also, daylighting is not exactly the best to truly show conditioning. You look much better under some artificial lights. For example, right here. He definitely looks like he is bringing the conditioning. Again, he has two and a half weeks to dial it in, but for this point in time, this is good enough. Conditioning is definitely good enough. The improvements are made. Look at the shoulders, the chest, the arms. You just saw the back. The quads are looking ridiculous. With all this size, man, and with the improvements now, and I'm sure his posing will be a little bit better, and I'm pretty sure as well conditioning is going to be improved. Yeah, I definitely have him winning the Dubai Pro in qualifying for the Mr. Olympia. If you guys think otherwise, you're free to tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best. And bye-bye.